In GP2013, there's a great new feature has been added to the depreciation report option window. Let's take a look. I'm in the financial module under reports fixed assets. I'm going to select depreciation. And I'm going to select the depreciation detail report. In GP2013, there is an option for reporting on historical depreciation amounts adding a depreciation of a state to the report options. So you now have the ability to say current amount, end date, previous month date, uh, previous fiscal or calendar year. So we'd enter a date to restrict the depreciation amounts displayed on the report. Any depreciation transaction that has a date on or after the depreciation as of date is included on the report. So for example, if you select end of previous month, the report includes depreciation transactions as of the last day of the previous month. So the depreciation on the report is then calculated as the defined date, giving users greater flexibility in their depreciation reporting. Please visit our website at www.bdosolutions.ca.